supplements, everyone should take a multiple vitamin. And uh, we're just deficient as a society in things like magnesium and potassium. Uh, everybody should also take uh, omega-3 fatty acid supplement. Huge fan of high quality, highly purified fish oil. Brain MD, we make omega-3 power. Your brain right now, this very second, is either growing younger or dying faster. And here's what nobody tells you. You decided which one about three hours ago. When you had lunch. When you grabbed that afternoon snack. When you reached for your third coffee. Dr. Daniel Amen has looked inside 250,000 human brains, a quarter of a million brains. That's not a metaphor. He's literally seen what your daily choices are doing to the organ that makes you, you. And what he found changed everything we thought we knew about aging. Because your brain, it has an expiration date. But here's the thing. You're the one setting the timer. Now before you click away thinking this is another Eat More Blueberries video, let me tell you who Dr. Amen is and why his data is different. Your brain right now, this very second, is either growing younger or dying faster. And here's what nobody tells you. You decided which one about three hours ago, when you had lunch, when you grabbed that afternoon snack, when you reached for your third coffee. Dr. Daniel Amen has looked inside 250,000 human brains. A quarter of a million brains, that's not a metaphor. He's literally seen what your daily choices are doing to the organ that makes you, you. And what he found changed everything we thought we knew about aging. Because your brain, it has an expiration date. But here's the thing. You're the one setting the timer. Now before you click away thinking this is another Eat More Blueberries video, let me tell you who Dr. Amen is and why his data is different. For over 30 years, Dr. Amen and his team have been using SPECT imaging. That's single photon emission computed tomography. But you don't need to remember that. What you need to know is this. While other doctors are guessing what's happening in your brain, Dr. Amen has been watching it happen in real time. 250,000 scans from patients in 155 countries. The largest brain imaging database on the planet. Not theories not correlations from surveys, actual images of what your lifestyle is doing to your brain cells right now. And when you see what he's seen, when you watch a healthy 40-year-old brain sitting next to a 40-year-old brain that looks 70, you can't unsee it. The good news, he found five specific foods that can reverse years of damage in as little as 60 days. But first, you need to see what we're up against. And look, if what you're about to discover changes how you think about your next meal, maybe hit that subscribe button. Because once you know this, you'll want to know what else you've been getting wrong. Fair? Here's what the scans revealed. Every single day you lose 85,000 brain cells. That's not a typo. 85,000. Gone. Now your brain can handle that. It's designed for it. But here's where it gets terrifying. You can triple that loss with the wrong choices. Or you can cut it in half with the right ones. Dr. Amen showed me two brains. Both belong to 60-year-old men. One brain, full, symmetrical, glowing with healthy blood flow. The other, shriveled, holes where there should be tissue. Barely any activity in the frontal lobe. That's the part that handles your judgment, your personality, your impulse control. Everything that makes you... You and, same age, completely different brains. The difference? What they ate. Your brain is 2% of your body weight but burns through 20 to 30% of every calorie you consume. That breakfast you had, nearly a third of it went straight to your brain. Think about that. Your brain is the most metabolically expensive real estate in your entire body, and you're feeding it. What exactly? Dr. Amen calls it the most expensive real estate in your body, and yet most people spend more time researching which coffee to buy than what to feed the organ that controls literally everything they do. Here's what most people don't realize. A smaller brain isn't just about memory loss. Dr. Amen published a study in the journal Obesity that found as your weight goes up, 
the actual physical size of your brain goes down. He read that study, dropped 25 pounds immediately. His words, when it comes to the brain, size matters. You do not want a smaller brain. So what's shrinking your brain? Let's start with the obvious ones. Alcohol, drugs, brain injuries. If you're getting drunk regularly, Dr. Amen has seen your future. He literally scanned a young man sober than drunk. His frontal lobes, the part that handles focus, planning, empathy, just vanished. Gone. Why do people do stupid things when they're drunk? Because the smart part of their brain shuts off. But here's what catches most people off guard. Obesity. Ten different studies now confirm it. As your weight climbs, your brain shrinks. It's not about vanity. It's about whether you'll recognize your grandkids' faces in 20 years. Lack of sleep. In 1900, humans averaged nine hours per night. By 2011, six hours. And here's the brutal part. Under seven hours of sleep, blood flow to your brain drops. Your brain literally can't clean itself. And when sleep goes down, weight goes up because your cravings spiral out of control. It's a death spiral. High blood pressure. Simple physics. Higher pressure, less flow. Your brain is starving for oxygen and you're wondering why you can't focus. Sugar and processed foods. The standard American diet, SAD, which is almost too on the nose, isn't just giving you diabetes. It's giving you depression, attention problems, and paving the road to Alzheimer's. Dr. Amen once visited a church. They were serving donuts, sausage, bacon, hot dogs, and ice cream. His reaction? They have no idea. They're sending people to heaven early. And coffee? Here's where it gets controversial. Anything that messes with sleep or constricts blood flow, Dr. Amen's not a fan. Six cups a day? Big trouble. One cup? Probably fine. But better options exist. Now here's where this gets interesting. Because everything I just listed, you probably knew most of it already. But you're still doing it. Why? Because knowing doesn't change behavior. Seeing does. And what Dr. Amen sees in those scans forces people to change overnight. But you don't need a $4,000 brain scan to start fixing this today. Here's the truth that the medical establishment doesn't want you to know. Your brain can heal. Not just stop getting worse. Actually get younger. Dr. Amen scanned his own brain at 37, then again at 52. His brain at 52 looked younger than it did at 37. 15 years later, and his brain had reversed aged. How? Five foods, specific lifestyle changes, and 60 days. That's it. Before we get to the foods, understand this. Your brain needs three things to thrive. Blood flow, the right nutrients, and protection from inflammation. Everything we're about to discuss does at least two of those three. Some do all three. Now, I'm going to walk you through each food, what it does, and why it works. But here's my ask. If even one of these surprises you, if even one of these changes what you're going to eat this week, just tap that subscribe button. Not for me, for you. Because if this information is valuable enough to change your behavior, you'll want to see what else you've been missing. Deal? Food number one. Fatty fish, wild-caught salmon, sardines, mackerel. Your brain is 60% fat, not kind of fat, not mostly fat, 60% fat. And not just any fat, omega-3 fatty acids, specifically EPA and DHA. These are essential fats, meaning your body cannot make them. You either eat them or your brain starves. Dr. Amen is obsessed with omega-3s. He literally created a vegan omega-3 supplement because he was so frustrated that vegans couldn't get enough EPA and DHA from plants alone. Flax seeds and avocados aren't enough. Flax seeds and avocados aren't enough. Wild-caught salmon, sardines, mackerel. These are brain rocket fuel. They reduce inflammation, improve blood flow, and literally help your brain build new connections. How much? At least three servings per week. And if you're vegan, you need a high-quality algae-based supplement with both EPA and DHA. Non-negotiable. Food number two, pumpkin seeds. Tiny, unassuming, ridiculously powerful. 
Dr. Amen calls pumpkin seeds a drip dopamine food, and here's why. They're loaded with magnesium, which most people are deficient in. Magnesium calms your brain, reduces anxiety, and helps you sleep. Remember, sleep is when your brain cleans itself. But that's not all. Pumpkin seeds are packed with zinc, which sharpens memory and focus. They're full of antioxidants that protect your brain cells from oxidative stress. And they contain healthy fats that support neuron function. A quarter cup a day. That's it. Toss them on a salad. Blend them into a smoothie. Eat them straight. Simplest brain hack you'll find. Food number to three, leafy greens, spinach, kale, Swiss chard. If your diet doesn't include dark leafy greens every single day, your brain is operating on a deficit. Here's why. Leafy greens are packed with folate, vitamin K, and lutein, all proven to slow cognitive decline. One study followed older adults for five years. Those who ate one serving of leafy greens daily had brains that functioned as if they were 11 years younger. 11 years. Dr. Amon's rule. If it's grown on a plant, eat it. If it's made in a plant, don't. Spinach, kale, arugula, Swiss chard, rotate them. Your brain will thank you by actually working. Food. Number four. Blueberries and other dark berries. Blueberries aren't just antioxidants, they're brain bodyguards. They cross the blood-brain barrier and directly protect your neurons from inflammation and oxidative stress. Studies show they improve memory, delay brain aging, and may even help grow new brain cells. Dr. Amen recommends a half cup to one cup daily, fresh or frozen, doesn't matter, just get them in. And if you want to level up, add blackberries, strawberries, and raspberries. The darker the berry, the stronger the protection. Food number five, green tea. Remember how Dr. Amen isn't a fan of coffee? Here's his alternative, green tea. Green tea has about half the caffeine of coffee, so you get a gentle energy boost without the jitters or crash. But here's the magic. It also contains L-theanine, an amino acid that promotes relaxation and focus at the same time. It's like being calm and alert simultaneously. And green tea is loaded with catechins, antioxidants that protect brain cells and improve blood flow. Dr. Amen drinks it daily, two to three cups. It's his non-negotiable. Here's what most people miss. It's not just about adding these five foods. It's about what they replace. Every time you choose wild salmon over a burger, you're making a choice. Every time you grab pumpkin seeds instead of chips, you're deciding whether your brain grows younger or older. Dr. Amon scanned himself at 52 and saw a younger brain than at 37. That didn't happen by accident. It happened because every single meal became a decision. Am I feeding my brain or am I starving it? You lose 85,000 brain cells a day. That's the baseline. But you can double that loss or cut it in half. The difference is what's on your plate. And here's the part that should terrify you. Brain damage is invisible until it's not. You don't feel your brain shrinking. You don't notice the blood flow dropping. You just wake up one day and realize you can't remember where you put your keys, or your child's birthday, or why you walked into a room. And by then, you've lost years, maybe decades. But you have 60 days to turn this around. So here's my challenge. Pick one. Just one of these five foods and add it to your diet this week. Not all five, just one. Maybe it's swapping your morning coffee for green tea. Maybe it's throwing pumpkin seeds on your lunch salad. Maybe it's committing to salmon twice this week. Start there. Because your brain doesn't care about perfection. It cares about consistency. And if this video made you rethink even one meal, do me a favor. Subscribe. Because I'm going to keep bringing you information that actually changes your life, not just your feed. Your brain is the most expensive real estate in your body. Time to start treating it that way. I'll see you in the next one.